you bought one of our harnesses and you're putting it on an existing attachment, you want to adapt it to a bobcat. Uh, you sometimes, if you're having some problems and the pump's turning on and off for no apparent reason, what you need to do is jumper the pumps out through the uh, connector. And what that does, how, how you do that is we just, we include these little jumpers or you can order them from us as well. Um, but most of the kits now have them. And what you do is you take this jumper, we uh, undo these two screws on the back here. It's like so, I did them really quickly so we could go through this fast, but we unscrew this off the back, we open up the connector, and in the back here there's uh, pins K and L, and that's the two that we want to jumper over here. Um, uh, you want to push the uh, little um, plugs, there's some white plugs up inside there, you want to push those through. I just use my little tool here, just reach inside, I push them through, and then that clears them so I can put my jumper in, and then all I'm going to do is take my jumper, loop it over, and I'm gonna put it into pins K and L. And I can just use a little pair of needle nose here. Push them into place. Okay. I use my little tool here again. It just makes it faster for me. I do a lot of these. Okay. You, you could hear it clicking, and the verification is to turn it over and have a look right here. You'll see the sockets coming right to the face of the connector. If you don't see that, go back and try again, because if you let it go halfway, the first time you plug it in, it'll push the socket back inside. It's not going to work. So that's all it is to, uh, to jumper out the pumps of a Bobcat. If you have any questions, contact us through our website. Thank you.